president of the UFC, Dana White, recently released his Mount Rushmore of MMA. He chose John Jones, Amanda Nunes, Hoist Gracie, and Chuck Liddell, the Iceman. Now I can't surprise, can't say I'm surprised to see Chuck Liddell on that list, um, or John Jones for that matter, Amanda Nunes. Hoist Gracie has to be on that list, absolutely. He actually picked two of the four I would pick as well, and since you're watching that video, that's why you're here. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my Mount Rushmore of mixed martial arts. First off, it has to start with Hoist Gracie. You cannot have a Mount Rushmore of mixed martial arts without the guy that started it all. Hoist Gracie, he won UFC one, two, and four. Just a legend, and then he went on the fight in pride as well. Now, the next one, I agree with Dana White. I did a video a little while ago, and I called this person the greatest fighter of all time. I stand by that. I know there's a lot of people that disagree, but that's my opinion, and that is Amanda Nunes. I would put Amanda Nunes on the Mount Rushmore Hall of Fame absolutely without question. So that's Hoist Gracie, and that's Amanda Nunes. My next pick would be George St. Pierre. Now, I was never the biggest George St. Pierre fan. I was a Matt Hughes guy. So if you're a Matt Hughes guy, you're automatically against George St. Pierre. And that said, I'm Canadian. So being against George St. Pierre is like the biggest negative you could do in my country. So, but I would, cannot take away. I don't remember how many wins he's lost, uh, how many wins he's got, but he's only at two losses. Matt Hughes, the first time, and Matt Sarah, also the first time. He has a hard, uh, time fighting guys named Matt in this the first time out but after aside from those two losses he absolutely dominated everybody lost very few rounds until his last couple of fights the closest fight he ever had I think was that fight with Johnny Hendricks but other than that just dominated his opponents came back um, how many years later was it four or five Six years later, defeated Michael Bisping for the middleweight championship, making him a champion welterweight and middleweight. Can't take it away. GSP is definitely on that Mount Rushmore. And all the Dana Whites were UFC choices. Can't say I'm surprised with that. Uh, the guy's been president of the UFC for the last 20 whatever years. So, but my next guy has never fought in the UFC. He was a legend in pride. He has fought a few times in the United States. He has had a rough go of it over the last couple of years, but you cannot take away what he did for the heavyweight division when uh, there wasn't much of a heavyweight division. Now, I'm not saying that he had easy opponents because he absolutely did not. At the time, I feel that Pride's heavyweight division was miles better than the UFC's heavyweight division at the time. At the time. Um, so I think Fedor Emelianenko absolutely deserves a spot on the Mount Rushmore of MMA for what he did for the UFC heavyweight division when there wasn't much of one in America. All the top heavyweights were in Japan and oh my god did he destroy all of them. Just walking through Krokop's head kicks, getting tossed by Kevin Randleman and then getting him into Kimura I think is what he caught him with. Just. What Fedor was able to do for so many years uh, in Japan and then come over and do it for a little bit in the United States as well. I mean, everybody ends up losing at some point in time, right? Or just about everybody. Uh, and so Fedor absolutely belongs up there in my opinion. So those are my picks. Hoist Gracie, I can't, I can't imagine anybody not putting Hoist Gracie on the Mount Rushmore of MMA. I could totally see John Jones being up there as well, so I don't disagree with that, but he's not on mine. Hoist Gracie, Amanda Nunes, George St. Pierre and Fedor Emelianenko. That's my route, Mount Rushmore of MMA. Easy for me to say. What would your Mount Rushmore of MMA be? Leave a comment below wherever you're watching this. Let me know. Uh, I'm very interested of who you would put as the top four faces of mixed martial arts.